Hello again, and welcome back to the wonderful adventures of Griselda Gumtier. Now, last time, I done fucked up, because I recorded about an hour of content, and it is lost to the fucking ether because it recorded a still fucking image for some reason. However, we have made our way into Firelink Shrine, and, and I've crashed the game again already. And we're back. Right. Thought I fixed that last time in the recording that's been lost to the ages, but no. Fixed it now, though. Right. Last time, we ventured onwards from where we defeated Udex Gundir. We discovered a fucking problem with being fogwalled into Firelink Shrine. We met our cast. We've got the Crest Fallen Warrior over here, as regular staple of the Dark Souls series. Or at least variants of him are. We have met... The Firekeeper. She is who helps us level up and basically guides us on our quest. We've met the Shrine Hag, the wonderful shopkeeper, who was in Dark Souls 2. And we met Andre! Andre is a wonderful, wonderful person. He was the first blacksmith you met in Dark Souls 1 if you went the traditional route. And, um, he's pretty fucking cool. And he's muscly as all hell. Right, let's go see if we can go back out so I can show you what you missed. Because of my fuck-up! Apparently not, let's run up the stairs first. Because that seemed to fix it for some reason, not entirely sure why. Yes, no, maybe, let me through. You just... okay. Right. We fought Udex Gundir down there in that lovely little arena. You can see the bonfire just. We made our way up here to Firelink Shrine, this lovely building. And we met our first nemesis. The Pants Man. And there's our souls from last time. I'm very glad I came out this way. Because that's not something I really wanted to, to miss. Right. Round fucking... probably about 50 by now, Pants Man. Yeah, get fucked. I mean, that went straight through my parry, which is slightly alarming. So I'm going to leave now. Bye. You see, he's still coming for us. Still got you. Okay, this is going much better than it did first. No, 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 no. I think not. Okay, now it's time for that. Time to heal back up again. Ah! Oh! Well, that's Pants Man. I don't think we're going to be killing him anytime soon. <sighs> anyway, let's go get our souls back. And then I shall show you what else you missed. In episode 2, that's gone, and... Oh. It was a fun adventure. Somewhat upsetting that it's gone. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to fortify and deal with it. Right. Is this gonna let us out now? No, you're not. Could, could you please let us out now? Not entirely sure why you're fogwalling us in, to be honest. Doesn't really make sense to me. Is there a fogwall over there? Or is that just... That's just the sky. If he's still, if we're still, okay, good. I was gonna say if we're still fog walled in, I'm gonna have to try and figure out some other way to go and get our souls. But thankfully, we're not. Right, let's go grab our stuff and leave before we incur the wrath of Pants Man. Anyway, we used a bonfire to travel somewhere up there for that lovely castle. And we found ourselves atop the high wall of Lothric. Right. There we go. And from Lothric, we made ourselves. Um, from the high wall, we found our way forwards a little ways. 
we encountered a dragon and some delightful, squelchy, oily tar beasts, which were not fun. I think is probably the best way of putting it. Right, now you can see the dragons. There's one that's dead over there. There's one that is very much alive over there. Is he breathing fire or is he just he's just having a nice stretch? Right. I'll just go show you over here. We found some items. Over at the top of that little bit over there, there is the um first oily tar beast. Nope. Oh, another thing we did is we found ourselves to weapons. Lucerne was an, a weapon that we found just out and about, and we found ourselves a halberd. So that's pretty cool. They're both weapons that we're going to be checking out when we have leveled up enough to use them. Oh, no, thank you. This is why you should pay more attention, rather than just kind of running through assuming you're going to be fine. Oh, he's a man who I think aggroes ev- He seems to aggro everyone, so I'm just not going to let him do that. And it's going to be great. With the pokey stick. Our eternal saviour. Get as many souls as we fucking can, because... Souls are money, and experience, and everything we could possibly- I didn't go up there last time. Interesting. Hello, corpse, and another angry man, who we're not going to let him have his way. But yeah, that is, what should we call him? We call him Boris, Boris the Dragon, who does that, which on the plus side does give us a lot of, uh, a lot of delightful money, which I can get behind. I can get behind that idea if he just gives us things. That's another way. We can drop down there. I'll have to give that a go in a second. First, let's... There's another man up there, so let's be careful there. Hidden path ahead. Well, I'm going to assume that's not talking about there, and it's going to be talking about up here. Hi, how's it going? I don't trust you. I correctly don't trust you. Ooh, that was a little hairy. All right, we've got ourselves some binoculars. Yes! Fucking love the binoculars. They're so dumb, it's wonderful. Yeah. That lets us have a look at this fucking gorgeous scenery. I wonder, what can we see? What can we see if we can see nothing? Okay. We'll have another we'll have a good look at Boris in a second then, I guess. Alright, let's have a look. Fucking hell. He must give so much money. Right. Now I had a, lo a lovely little rant about the illusory walls in Dark Souls before. It's that... There's nothing wrong with the walls themselves. However, they do seem to just make a habit of just changing up how you activate them from game to game. For instance, in the first game, you just attack the wall. And then, ooh, gold plan resin. That could make fighting dragons easier. It gives lightning to your weapon. Yeah, as I was saying, illusory walls. In the first game, you just attacked where the wall was, and it would disappear, and you'd have a lovely time. In the second game, they changed it up so you have to press A next to the wall. Nowhere did they tell you this. Oh! Hello, friend. Also commented a lot on how nice and smooth the backstabs are, because they, felt a, they always felt a little bit janky in the first two games, but now it just... It's really responsive, and kind of you always feel like you know where the place you have to be to backstab them is. Right. Let's quickly hurry on, and hope he's going to murder me here. Oh, no, 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 no. Or not. Maybe I'll be fine. No, oh, it's slightly too far, then. There we go. There's the backstab. Please don't free fire on me. I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, ow! I thought I... <laughs> now we're going to... 
quickly leg it. Oh, or not. We're going to quickly leg it this way, which is the way I went first time. Alright. We encountered a very strong nightman down here. Bloody fuck. As I said, a strong nightman. Ow. Ow. Please leave me alone. Oh, fuck off! Oh. <laughs> so, we're just gonna leave now. We ran in here, avoided some thief men, and came up the stairs. Because up the stairs is our second bonfire of the game. Well, of this area. And and he's still coming for me. Oh dear. We also remembered last time that we have a healing miracle. That that that's trying to heal. Um there there we go. Healing miracle. Which don't require individual casts as we have mana now, which is to be honest, a fucking lovely improvement. Like, it just really does feel like it improves our quality of light quite dramatically. Oh, fuck. Please leave me alone. I don't want to fight you. Please leave me alone. Oh, dear. Oh, it's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Okay, we're out. We're fine. Yeah, get fucked. Prick. Oh no. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, no, I'm not. Ow, ow, fuck off. Well, I fucked that one up. Always forget quite how slow that is compared to the Estus Flask. Alright. Let's make a quick run onwards to get back, catch up with where we went in the last episode or so. Went up this way, having fought them. There was a downstairs area, there's basically nothing there. There's a thief man in a prison who we can't free yet. Oh, I don't have my shield equipped. Oh dear. Now, that might have been a mistake. Ow, fuck off. Right, okay, we're fine. Had a lovely comment on how these dragons are fucking amazing. Also incredibly, incredibly Dark Souls, because they are fucking up spectacular and majestic and broken and decaying at the same time. And this is the first... Man! So, not sure about you, but I think we should leave, like, right now, before the tar monster kills us. Then there's that man. And then that man, and then these guys just hanging out over the edge. That was a convenient little kill. Okay, good, good. Progress. Always nice when you make progress. There are some more dudes hanging out over the edge down here. Oh, you didn't die. Okay. Uh, you. Came down here to find Mr. Fat Man, as he is formerly known. Who I haven't tried fighting yet. Not entirely sure that I should try fighting him. I guess I'm going to try fighting him. Oh, good lord. 
Okay, he doesn't have as much health as he could, especially considering... that I can do stuff like... Um, what the fuck? <laughs> no thank you! Well, that was unexpected. Okay. Okay. Let's not- let's not fight Mr. Fat Man. Let's get to the point that we can have a better weapon than this piddly little spear. Kinda bad. Or at least not good. Try not to lose 2,000 souls. Thank you for cushioning my fall with your brain. I appreciate it greatly. Goodbye, Mr. Evil Man. Is he is he still transform he's not transforming, interesting. That means that when I come back here in the future with some sort of <laughs> I can hear him transforming now. No, no, you fucking don't. That is two thousand zones that I am not prepared to lose. No, that's not. Fuck off. <sighs> right. Then we can sneak down here. I am going to risk it. Because I am nothing if not really, really, really good at making decisions. And by good, I mean awful. And you always have to make that distinction. Make sure you don't mean awful when you say good. Right. We came through here. Up here, there is the first shortcut, which takes us back to the very first bonfire of the area. Then... Please. Pl please, just stop, stop turning around. There we go. See, you just have to ask and they will obey. Um, where else did we go? We went this way. Found these lovely night chaps again. Who are hopefully not going to ruin us horribly. By luring us out. Um, I'm just going to leg it past them. Or not! Oh dear! Oh, mistakes! Oh! Okay! Hmm. Hmm. That may have been a bad decision. Right. Moving swiftly on to go and reclaim our souls for the fucking third time from the same place. Or however many times it was. I'm not good at maths, please forgive me. I'm good enough at maths, just not to get to counting. Oh, he can see me. <laughs> no. Oh, he's running. Bye. We're gonna run down here. We're gonna get our stuff, and we're gonna leave. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. All of these guys are from the intro cutscene. They're the people who fell down and died horribly. Right. Yeah, fuck you. We came in here and we met Emma, the High Priestess of Lothric, who told us that the Lords of Cinder have fucked off. Which is kind of a problem, as Griselda says. So now what we have to do is we have to basically go and kill a dog? Apparently? The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley, so... Probably not a standard dog. Oh, okay, he can see me. No. I refuse. Goodbye, sir. That's right, fuck off. Um... You know what, at this point, I reckon... Probably just time to go home. 
Oh, that was nearly very nasty. Yeah, let's just go and use our souls and hopefully get a better weapon out of all this. Oh no, I left the fucking lift up. Yes, come forwards, come forwards! <laughs> oh, Dark Souls. Right. So, that's everything that we covered up until now. We also met these delightful doggies, who are not at all disturbing. Okay. Oh, fucking hell, they're faster than I thought. As is that one. Leave me alone. And you, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. Steel Soldier Helm. That's nice, that's never going to be used. Right. Let's return... to Filing Shrine. I guess we can give the, uh, Fighting Pants Man another go. When we've got a better weapon as well. We need 16 strength well, to use the Halberd, 13 dex to use Lucerne. Perfect. After that, I reckon we should probably spend some time putting... ...putting some points into... That's going to give us 125, Magazine 126 plus 17. So that is exactly the same damage one. Let's see whose moves we prefer. So this is Lucer. I think they actually have exactly the same... ...moveset. No, okay, the Halberd's a lot more stabby. I'm quite fond of the stabby Halberd. So I guess we'll use that. Okay, no, that's still locked. So we'll go this way. Or maybe we won't go this way. Hogwalls. Fucking... Yep. Yeah! Round number 578, Pants Man, let's go. I'm not scared, you're scared. may think that I died there. No, 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 that's pro- it's pro strats, I'm- 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 I assure you. Just to make sure that we're lulling him into a false sense of security, so that he doesn't think that we have a chance. Now that- that's him thinking that we don't have a chance, not us. Right? Okay, we're gonna be fine. Oh, God. thanks. I'll fight him once more. Give it a go. Gotta try and make the most of using... There we go. Gotta try and make the most of using the extra range we've got on him, because that's surely the benefit of having a fucking spear. Try fucking shoving him off the edge as well. Because gravity will kill anyone. That is a lot more damage than it was before. That I can appreciate. Fuck you, piece of shit. 
Right, now Griselda is going to make a quick retreat so that he doesn't come and ruin us horribly. Okay, yeah, there we go. Ow! That has a lot longer range than I thought it did. Okay. No, 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 no. Quick heal. Nope. Well, that was a one shot. That's, uh. somewhat alarming, to be quite honest. Chalk up another win for Pants Man. Alright, okay, let's give this a go then. I definitely think I'm going to stick with the Halberd. And I think, if I remember correctly, in the last episode, we found ourselves another Titanite Shard, which means that we can upgrade our weapon now. And with our inventory, we should have some souls. We'll just use all of them. Get all five souls! Oh shit! They've upgraded fading souls quite dramatically. They used to literally give one soul. Okay, that's more than a level now. Soul of an unknown traveller. Another 800, nice. It is good to see ye in good health. And you, Andre! Well, I have this wonderful halberd, you see. And I was hoping you could turn it into a better one. Thank you. Hey, be careful. Goodbye. We have a pants man to try and kill. Fire maiden. Speak very well, then take Give me strength. And by strength, I mean endurance. Yeah. Extra attacks are always good, right? And extra rolls, more to the point. Being able to throw yourself out of harm's way is kind of important in this game. What is our... Oh, that gives us a charge. Okay, that's kind of cool. So that's something that we could actually use to kind of like... I'm going to give it a go and see if it works. That was not as good as I hoped it would be. You! Fuck you, Pants Man! You fucking cunt! Griselda is victorious! <laughs> right. Let's quickly reload and make sure that we've got that. 